Hey everybody, welcome back to Polish Pinkies. This is Sarah. Today we're going to go over editing your photos for social media. I get a lot of questions about how I edit my photos on Instagram and I thought I would make a video to show you how I do it. So let's get started. I take all of my photos with my iPhone. You can take your photos with whatever device you prefer. And First I would like to show you just a little bit about how you should pose your model's hand, your client's hand, or the person that you're taking a picture of. So there are a couple of ways to do it. Some of the popular ways are to do the claw, which I think is just so harsh. But that's the way I look at it. Some people lately you might see them holding a diamond or holding like a, a polish bottle, you know, something that is natural. I think this is really pretty. Uh, the way I do it is, so think of it upside down. We're upside down right now, but it would be with your hands like this. And I make sure that these fingers are lined up on this fourth finger and that my client's hands are just kind of relaxed so I don't have them be so stark. Some people like to do it that way, but I try to keep them relaxed and then it's just a natural photo. If I have something on their thumb, then I make sure to do it this way so that you can see all five fingers. But if the thumb has nothing but polish on it, then I do this way. Some people prefer this. That's cool. The one that's the worst is probably this one. Why is it the worst? Because it makes your hands look like big old sausages and so strange. So this one and this one are my least favorite, but it's all up to you what you prefer. Everybody likes something different. So once you get your model posed, which today is just going to be beautiful colors of glitter, then you would turn on your camera and I always, no matter what, I clean my camera every single time. You don't know how many times I have taken a picture of something and it's blurry because this right here was blurry. So be really careful and mindful of that. So when you are taking a picture of something that has glitter on it, especially, I know the lighting is bad because I have, uh, anyway, I'm working on the lighting. This is all a work in progress, right? So anyway, when you are taking a picture of something that has glitter especially, you have to definitely tap on the photo where you want it to be in focus the most. And I find that glitter is the quickest thing to be out of focus. So if my client has glitter on their fourth fingers, then I tap right above where their fourth fingers are. And I tap there and I take a picture. And let's be honest, I take a good 15, maybe even sometimes 20 pictures because I have learned that I can delete them all once I find my favorite. So feel free, I mean it's all digital, so you don't have to pay for processing. You just take as many photos, and I always change the angle, I go up, I go down, I change the lighting, all of that. So be sure to take lots and lots of photos. And then next up, we will edit them. So now I have all of my photos in here, ready to be. Here's the ones that I just took. But we're gonna work on this picture I just did these nails today and they were filled with glitter so I thought they were perfect for showing you how to edit your photos. So the first thing I do is I just pick some of the millions that I took and I blow it up and I blow it up for a reason because then I can see if it's blurry and I don't know if you can tell on screen but this is a blurry picture. So if I were to edit this picture and it's blurry to begin with and I can't see these pieces of glitter and whatnot, then in the end, it's going to be blurry. So I don't like this one. Let's find another one. This one looks really bright. I always like the ones that are bright in the background, but when you pull it up, it's blurry. So I don't like that one. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, that one's not too bad. I think it could be a little bit more clear, so I'm going to keep looking. Um, Ooh, that one's nice and pretty. That one is really nice and pretty. All right, one more. Uh, let's go with this one. I think it's between the one right before this one and this one. All right, I'm gonna make a decision and go with this one. I think that the background is pretty. It's brighter than some of the others. I don't know if you can tell. See how this one's darker, this one's brighter, and I, what I'm talking about is the white towel that I take my pictures on. Sometimes if you take a picture on a dark background, 
um, the lighting changes. So really, it's a it's a work in progress. We all have to practice. So this is what I found that I like. I like the stark white behind, showing their hands and whatnot. So I think I have decided on this one. Let me just double check. Yep. And now I'm going to delete all the rest of them. That way I don't get confused when I go in and put on my, my watermark. Now, let's take a minute. It's really important to put your watermark on your picture. Some people might argue and say it's really not that big of a deal, but when I have an Instagram where I have a feature page, and if I'm gonna feature your nails, then you really wanna have a watermark on there so that people know it's your work. It just shows that you care about your work and that you're taking credit for your work. And if you do art that is from another artist, then you should always tag them and say inspired by because it's always good to feel like, hey, somebody saw my work and they liked it and they recreated it. Isn't that great? So that's how we as a community can really just help each other out and make each other feel better. So back to what we were doing. It's time to put on our watermark. And I use Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. You can use whatever makes you happy. Whatever is out there for you to be able to edit your photo. Now in here, the only thing I do is I put on my watermark. So let's quickly take care of that. You can put your watermark however you want. You can keep it big, you can make it small. Practice with it, see what you like. But this is where I usually put my watermarks now. And I say done, and I save the image. Now we go into Instagram, and there's our picture. Now you get to decide how big you want the nails to be. Some people make it super big and make it the whole picture. Some people keep the whole hands in. I go from the knuckle down. I want people to know it's still a human being, it's still somebody who has a whole hand, but that the nails are also featured. So that's about where I put it. I try to make it as centered as I can. And once I'm happy with the size and the placement of the nails, then I push next. Now here's where it's going to get fun. We are going to edit. We're not going to put on a filter. These filters are cool and they change the lighting and they do all kinds of fun things. But we want to really make the nails look good. So we are going to edit the photo. And the first thing we're going to do is change the brightness. And I am going to take the brightness all the way up above 50, but I usually don't go above 60, so we'll stop somewhere right around there. And what this does is it just makes this background really bright. But if you noticed, it also lightened her skin tone, so we're going to fix that in just a minute. The next thing I do is I scroll to the end and I use Sharpen. Now here is where we're going to really see the change in the glitter. So if you push on the picture, it will give you the before and now the after. Let me come up a little closer. Before, after. See how now you can see all these tiny little pieces of glitter? If I had started with a blurry picture, it would be blurry now. So I made sure to start with the most in-focus picture I could. And now I get a sharp picture of all that glitter in all of its glory. When in doubt, put glitter on it. Okay, next we are going to saturate the color. So when I brightened everything, it lightens their, this client's skin tone. And also I want to see that red get really deep. So I saturate the color. And this one you have to be careful because it can saturate too much depending on how much yellow is in their skin or even how much red. When I do my sister's photos, she has a lot of pink in her skin. So if I saturate too much, her hand looks bright red. Like she has a sunburn. So you really have to really be cautious of what color their skin turns when you saturate. See what happens? It turns really bright yellow and orange. And we don't want our clients to look orange. We want them to look like human. So we are only going to take her to a 5 because we saturated that red. But I don't think she's warm enough. Her skin tone doesn't quite look right. So I'm going to warm her up just a hint. Not too much. 
And now here's our before and our after. Before and after. So that is how I edit all of my photos. Then we say next, and I'm not going to keep this photo on here. I'm going to post it onto Instagram tomorrow. But for now, we can say share. And here comes a beautiful picture. Excellent. Also, in Instagram, did you know that you can make the photo big? I don't know if I should tell you that. Now you can see all the flaws in my nails. <laughs> but this was a great feature that Instagram put in. A lot of fun. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. Please comment below and please feel free to subscribe and we will see you around. Thanks. Bye.